What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Fish Another Day. Today we are going to go look for clams. Um, I've actually never dug for clams before, never been to this location, but we're going to give it a try. Um, hopefully we'll get something. All right. Correction, we're actually pumping clams, not digging them. So, all right, we'll see you guys out there. It's wetsuit time. First of all, I want to say thank you to my good friends Eric and Viet for providing the equipment and knowledge to make this clamming day possible, because I would not have been able to do this without their help. So uh, we've made our way out to a large sandy flat uh, that's only exposed during low tide. Uh, and we're also here targeting horse neck clams, also known as gaper clams. There is a limit of only 10 per licensed person. And I gotta say thank you Eric again for pumping, since I couldn't really do it with a herniated disc in my back. So thank you, I know it's tiring. So thank you very much. Um, also the pumping uh, is forces water to shoot out of the spout that I'm holding, uh, which agitates and loosens the sand for us, and then that will allow you to easily reach deep in the sand without digging, and then hopefully you can grab the clam before it digs too deep and get out of reach. Now watch Eric mistake my thumb as a clam siphon. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I feel it, I feel it. No, ah. no scrunch! Woo! I see it. That's right guys, I got one. Nice. <laughs> one more there? Oh, awesome. ah. So you are only allowed to harvest clams 30 minutes before sunrise up to 30 minutes after sunset. So as we packed out uh, on our way back in, we're pulling up one of the crab pots that we did drop. Um, however, we did have a second crab pot that either got stolen or washed away from the current. I'm trying to stay positive here, so I'm hoping it was just uh, the latter. So let's hope for that. Today we're actually going to be making a Chinese style preparation uh, as well as a Japanese style. So there's going to be a sashimi for the siphons of the gooey duck. Or sorry, these aren't gooey ducks by the way. These are gaper clams. These are commonly mistaken for gooey ducks because of that long trunk, uh, which is a siphon. But these are gaper clams or horse neck clams. So siphon part, we are going to be doing sashimi style. And then there's a couple of parts inside the body, uh, notably the foot and other muscles in there, where we will be doing a Chinese steamed style with vermicelli. Um, important thing to note, never eat the stomach contents. That's the dark entrails that you'll see in there. Discard those always. And of course, before you do go for any kind of bivalves or filter feeders, 
always call the biotoxin hotline and I will put that on the screen as well as in the description. All right, first things first, let's clean them. So right here, I'm just gonna, you'll see they're still alive by the way. I had them in the fridge overnight and the moment I try to put that knife in there, it already tried to shut down on me. So all I'm gonna do is try to shuck it essentially. And then the moment you get far enough to the adductor muscle, they will open up. So all I'm gonna do is kind of working around, or all the way around the edge. Keeping a firm grip on it. And there you go. Just kind of scrape along the inside. Be careful not to waste anything here because it's uh, that curvature makes it a little bit difficult. And there you go. So one of them open. Let's take that apart. And that's just the shell. We're probably gonna keep a couple of the shells for the plating, and then that's the actual clam itself. And then we're gonna extract the rest of it. And then I'll show you how to actually take apart the siphon with the skin. So I'm just gonna take them out. So right there, you saw me slice through that adductor, uh, the adductor muscle. And that's the one that keeps the clam shut. First thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna take apart the neck, or the siphon. So right here at the base, I'm just gonna do a slice. And that is the whole siphon. We're gonna process all these guys, and then we're gonna kind of do it as a whole batch. All right. All right, so there is a bunch of sand in these, by the way. So what you wanna do, after you rinse them off, is actually take off the stomach contents. So you'll see there's a lot of like these dark parts over here. So try your best, remove as much as you can. And you'll see right there, kind of opened up all that digestive content in there. Like I mentioned, these are filter feeders. Don't eat the stomach contents because they could accumulate a lot of toxins. Break it apart. All right, there you go. And this dark part is just the skin. That's gonna get removed. And then that's your stomach content, so make sure you discard that. Now moving on to the plating. The vermicelli should be soaked until softened, which is about probably 15 minutes or so in room temperature water. Once they're soft, just layer down a thin bed of vermicelli uh, right on top of the, I guess, the concave side of the shell, and then go ahead and randomly cut up some of the uh, body sections of the caper clams. So just got everything cut up, 
spread into their shells and then had some vermicelli at the bottom. And now they are going in to the steamer. So we're waiting for the water to boil right now and the sun is setting. It's literally five minutes till five o'clock and it's, I guess winter's approaching, right? Winter's coming. Um, we're running out of light. We're probably gonna have to move inside. So we'll see inside, right? After they've been steamed for about five minutes, we're gonna be topping them with a bunch of green onions that were straight from the backyard. Um, and then we're just going to fry up a little bit of garlic and then pour all that nice hot sizzling oil right over the top of it. Shadows in there. Got the siphon here. Skin is still on. We're just going to give it a quick blanch, probably 15 seconds or so, and that will help take the skin off pretty easily. Alright, so after you've blanched them, just for about 15 seconds or so, skin should come off pretty easily. I'm just going to do a little slit to start. And you should be able to peel it off pretty simply, just like that. There you go. Nice and clean. Let's get all of them done. Yep. All right, let's prep the sashimi of the siphons. So just got some plates here. All we have is a wet towel with some ice under it so that when, we, when, we're, when we're done slicing, we're just gonna place everything on that cold paper towel to keep things fresh. Uh, all we did was, so far was butterfly these open this is the outside where we removed that skin, and here's the inside. Butterfly open, nice and clean. No sand, make sure if there's anything in there, just make sure you clean it out. All right, let's start slicing these really thin. And let's start with, uh, let's start with a little guy. So all I'm gonna do is take the knife, start, I, don't go down, straight down, just go at a very steep angle, and that's the easiest way to get nice thin slices. Oh yeah, I've also cut off the tips also. Just one. You can just keep going. Nice thin pieces. So we're gonna do the sashimi first. Uh, this is the, again, the sashimi siphon. And I actually do like it on the ice because the ice kind of makes the muscle a little bit, I guess, tensing up a little bit, uh, but that allows it to be a little bit crunchy. So I do like that. But a little bit of soy sauce, nothing major. Yeah, if you've ever had like a good quality, raw shrimp 
Like if you go to a Japanese restaurant and order some kind of sashimi shrimp, it has that sweetness, but this has a better texture. I like that little bit of crunch. So good. And I've actually, I've never had uh, raw gaper clams. I've only had raw gooey duck. Um, so this is actually delicious. Very similar to the gooey duck. Honey, you want to try How do you like it? Good. Mm. Texture is really good. I know, right? You like the crunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. This is hella good. So those are the body parts, like the, the one closer to the body. So we're gonna go a little bit more towards the uh, the tip. So that kind of pinkish area. So I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit pink. Let's see if that's a little bit different. Oh yeah. It's more crunchy near the tip. Hey, come on. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's worth it, man. All the work, getting dirty, all the cleanup. It's so good. All right, a couple more pieces, and then we're going to move on to the uh, steamed. Chinese style for the body section, but all right. See you guys over there for about uh, now. Nah, we haven't been cooking the whole time. It's probably been about two hours of prep work, filming, and all that stuff. I mean, this thing was steamed for five minutes, but a lot of prep work involved. So finally, get a taste. Sally already had hers. It's my turn now. So been looking forward to this. If you ever go to a Chinese restaurant, this is called Guai Fei Pong. Uh, but they do use a different type of clam. They use a surf clam. But my turn. I'm just gonna try the clam by itself first. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try the little adductor muscle. If I can find a piece in here. Oh man, I think I might have given it to everybody else. This might be a piece. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a very mild sweetness. A little bit of chew, kind of similar to, I guess, you know, regular clam, if you have like clam chowder. But some of my favorite part, actually, that vermicelli at the bottom, after you steam everything, all the flavor, the, I don't know if it's called a broth or not, but all that goes down. This is some of my favorite parts. Mmm. Mmm. See all that juice down there? A little bit of that garlic from the uh, garlic oil that I fried up. Mm. Mm. A little bit of flam flavor in there, clam flavor. Ooh. Dude, this is so good. I really wish we had more, but. We were, we got to the clamming site at like probably three o'clock. And by the time we were able to start actually pumping, it was probably about four o'clock and sundown was like five. So there definitely wasn't enough time, but still got some. Mm. Definitely gotta go back. Oh, here we go. Got one of the adductors. Looks like a little scallop. A little bit flaky. Kind of breaks apart if you try to squeeze a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that's my favorite piece. I always loved having this growing up. last bite but you know gotta go back out i want to get some more but 
Gotta wait for the no lex for the next low tide. All right, so see you guys next time. Subscribe, like, comment, and maybe I'll see you guys out there. Take it easy. Why do you, you gotta take a picture of the big one, Nelson? <laughs> it looks big if Hold you go up. closer. Hold it up.